Greetings everyone and welcome back to the old World Blues A to Z series in which we're right now playing as the Clam Jumpers. Um, right now we're at war with the Cyphers, which I forgot about honestly because Black Canyon is taking forever against the Twin Mothers and Vault 27, even though all three nations are out of manpower. And Dinta is now manually justifying on us. Go flipping figure. I'm not sure how or why. I guess it's over here. Dinta's core on or claim on New Month Throws. When we're doing decently right now. We're at war then we lost about 100. We killed off about 2200. And also, before I go on, with this whole Oral Blues tech expansion semi, with all this unique stuff here, which I honestly really love. Oh, look at that. Wow, plus 10% more armor. So we get armor through all this stuff, which I was looking at earlier. This, the support equipment actually gives you armor. Which is actually really cool, because I was wondering why, I think it's even more armor. Uh, because if you look at our units, Recon now, these are special uh, support companies. Very kind of worth it. Plus almost six armor just for the recon itself and more initiative. So we have, our infantry even has armor. And our special forces has a little bit more armor too. So overall, I'd say it's pretty darn worth it. I was very surprised actually to see that. But you know what? You never know when you try new mods or sub mods. So also, this is another thing advanced technology decisions. The pre war world was full of strange and exotic technologies, any which could revolutionize the modern wasteland. So adopt robot tactics, add technology, automated warfare or refined warfare, wasteland tactics, asymmetric warfare, and mutant tactics. Well, I kind of want to do wasteland tactics to see what it would be like. And there it goes, Dinta. Dinta? Don't tell me. Well, let's... I already saved. So if we do this, does it remove what we already have? Um, I'm not sure, since we did finish up our land auction. Asymmetric warfare, better reinforce it, it'd still be very nice. Um, outside of warfare, mutants, behemoths doesn't really help us. Refined warfare would be probably the best one. Refined warfare? Yeah, I don't want to lower our special forces capacity, so refined warfare. Asymmetric. Oh, so we can only choose one. But any army is only as strong as its leaders, then we must strive to make our troops the absolute best they can be. Makes sense. So we'll have to go to war with Dinta next. Oh, we got in circle. That's not good. Here, do that. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. As we're trying to destroy their special forces, as we only have five divisions of our own. That's all right, though. Gotta recover faster. Nice. And we almost have them. There you go. As you're getting attacked, which is fine. Let them destroy these guys. Very nice. Very nice. Finish them off. Or just go on ahead and ignore me, okay. And there goes those divisions. Beautiful. So we have back, more HP, less organization loss and moving, more recovery rate, better trickle back, even better XP loss. So overall, like these special forces can be very, very strong. Profits from the drug trade, we love them. And he's learning quite a bit. As we're trying to improve our Navy too. What's not to love? I really, really want to see this one though. Because right now we have a decent amount of money. Not a great amount, but a decent amount. We'll do some of this too. Clear one of the ciphers, so they're going to war. They're going to be hit from both sides. And we got them. You're all just going to need a hold. Calling all war boys, and then there's this one too. You're going to lose Mesa Verde, but whatever. Just hold on to your tiles, boys and girls. Because they're going to. Pack one heck of a punch. You stay there. You're gonna continue retreating, which is fine. Let him get in there. Um, I might actually send two divisions under two, maybe. Because 25 is just not enough to help pull it off against these guys. Why are you going so far around? There you go. Yeah, no, we're gonna need we're gonna need the entire army here, aren't we? Pretty much, they're pretty strong overall, but see so how long they last against us, because now we have some chaos. Oh, they do have power armor too. Oh, look at that. We 
We've lost quite a few, but they've also lost quite a few as well. With their special forces, we can pierce each other, which is fine, but we also have cast, which I was hoping we could actually uh, go down south, because I always go up north. But going down south sounds like a lot of fun, too. As long as we can hold, that's the most important thing. Not much manpower. There's a, quite a few factories all, around all of this territory, which is pretty good. Spend more special forces down here. Medex, uh, sure. Month of population, compliance growth speed, oh, that's good too. They are suffering some serious consequences for their actions. Which, don't get me wrong, I love it. But still, it's very costly. That's why I put those guys on our. Put all the chems. Because even the chems give us. They don't make us lose armor. So that's pretty decent. Better radar is pretty cool. Some better technology too, why not? They've lost, we've lost 500, they've lost about 1,000. 1,200, not bad, not bad. Still waiting to core more stuff, but whatever. So we're still waiting to adopt the tactics. And I'll show you what that's like, see if it's anything special. More political power, weekly stability goes up, which is decent. And you get two more free radar stations. I love that. Why not? We have no trade node yet, but still. As far as I know, we're not a trade node, so. And we all have 16 divisions max. They have. 38. And yeah, I lost quite a few already. Probably don't enable beta. So they have about a thousand manpower left. Stockpile wise, they have plenty of stuff. So as long as they don't enable beta, that's all that matters. Oh, arc jet systems. That's different. Unique. Love it. In the meantime, we just need to produce more, 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 more. And we get to. What do we have? Sure, why not? Heavy metal boxes are nice. Ooh, box one, too. We're running out of things to throw on our guys. Let's get some more reliability, I guess. It's not the most important thing, but you know, whatever. Side channel tech is good. What else do we want here? Agility would be decent. Not to give any more planes just yet, but that's why we make more uh, factories. And we'll throw on more for monoplane attackers, even though we're out of energy, which is a kind of an issue. That'll help us out a little bit, at least. Doctrine's available, which we don't have to do anything about that yet. Um, we're pretty much have everything that we really need at the moment. We could go to this one, lose some political power, but that's alright. You guys are getting a little bit tougher. Going to do that too. Political actions, sure, why not? Refined warfare, medical outreach. So, does that give us. It opens up a second. Oh my God, that's imp that's that's oh shnikes. They gave us literally a second land auction to go down. Oh my God, say it so. Get twelve percent more breakthrough too, and we lose critical population factor, but you get more. Oh my God. Flexibility command. So actually, I always use power armor with this, but we have special forces. This is still very good to do, don't get me wrong. But we actually might do this one, because we're support. We we're actually using a lot of non-combat support units, such as you know recon, uh, chems, uh, mobile chems. Is chem still on here? No, it is on, it's on there. So you get more organization for that and reliability. Just death stacking how much we have on what we have already. You know, we're going to go flexibility command, which is an, I never, ever, ever, ever go down. That's interesting. That's unique. I like this. I'm glad I actually installed this mod. They attack us. Can I attack them? Oh, well, we're losing there. Ooh, and there's a force in the defense, huh? Well, maybe attacking there was a bad idea. Go there. Go there. Do the best you can. Interesting. I really wanted to see that, but we're going to be at war with these guys for a while. I can, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll be. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to core this, a little more manpower, a few more factories, and core this too. War machines, cool. Understand engine, understanding explosions, ah, uh, guns, robots with guns. Because, what's not to love about well, that? Well, I wanted to go to war with the hangdogs, but in the end, I guess we'll try to go to war with, uh, Dead Horse instead? To give it a different direction. Hangdogs are actually destroying Le Legion, but, you know, whatever, it is what it is, and, uh, well, actually, probably, should probably all come over here. Ah, eh, actually, you guys come over here. Um, probably should stop training too. See what you can do. Special forces are pretty strong. 
Uh, I could probably take out Ouroboros, and maybe go to War of the White Legs, depending on how much manpower we actually have. So, because right now we have none against trying to, you know, do all the conscription or doing all the resistance stuff. Not great. So, overall not bad though. Oh boy. Hopefully get some infantry in here soon enough, but you never know. And... Maybe an encirclement? Maybe get over the waterways? Maybe kill them all off? Maybe have a good life? Eh, I don't know about that. But we're here anyways. We'll be fine. They're suffering a lot of attrition there, which is nice, 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 nice. Except for Dead Horses is done just in time-ish. Yeah, why not? Good. You should be really good at it. Come on. There you go. Rapid deployment, nice. I love the speed. I'm going to go with this one, too. There you go. That's quite a few divisions over there. And that's okay with us. 51% for the Cyphers, not bad, not bad. Now we got them. For the most part. A little max planning done. Oh, we're gonna need to deal with these guys up here too. Um, what is going on down here? My god, infantry, you suck hard, don't you? You're gonna force the attack. I don't care what happens. You're gonna break out, break them out. There you go. I guess it also wore these uh, sleepers. Alrighty then. Very, very nice. More recovery rate would be delightful. Good. Good. Nope, we're taking it. Goodbye. Get out of here. Ours, not yours. And then we'll go up here. We'll do that. We'll go over here and do that. Cover all the waterways. Nice. Uh, crowd control, we ain't done any of that stuff yet. Brutal hazing, we love the hazing br brutally. Incinerators, uh, I guess why not? We already have incinerators technically, but whatever. Are they there? Yeah, they're pretty much there already. Well, alright, have fun. See what you can do. These guys are still trying to kill each other over here, so which is why we're not moving up north. Night vision, good. Anything else around here? No, alright. Specials, no, not too much. We're pretty much done with all that. Land doctrine's coming along. Plans are pretty much, for the most part, done. You could use that free manpower, too, though. 57%, not bad. Ooh. Are the White Legs at war with anybody? They have like no manpower. Must be a lot of resistance. Must be. Let's take the capital, see what happens. We also go to war with uh, Twin Mothers anyways. Oh, we got them! At some point it becomes so large, it doesn't matter how many enemies you have. Hey, we conquered another final, thank god. You guys can do that. You guys can do this. You guys can do that. We definitely won't have enough divisions for this, but whatever. And you guys just do that. And I don't want to forget about this one, too. Because they ultimately have how much manpower? They have other 40 divisions and no manpower, which is kind of similar to us. But once we core everything, we'll be. Should be pretty darn solid. Well, happy decade, everybody. It's 2285, and we're going to war with the White Legs. We've lost 2,000, almost 3,000 versus almost 10,000, and we have slightly more divisions. But things aren't so peachy around here. The White Legs are pretty strong. But we do have an Air Force. It's relatively capable. And uh, we've been courting actually quite a bit. So we've courted a lot of the Colorado region. Hangdog's looking pretty thick, almost as thick as the NCR. Uh, we've got a few more things to core up here, too, but other than that, we're looking pretty okay. Okay. Oh, we don't own that state yet. 
Oh, that sucks. Um, I don't think we can record anything else really right now, but hey, we're about to. So, 55,000 is a pretty good chunk of change. At least in terms of manpower. Um, hopefully we can beat the crap out of the rest of these guys up because they are been they've been so annoying. Oh my god. Especially right here, like what the heck? What is going on up here? Bit odd if you ask me, but whatever. Um what are you guys doing? You guys you guys really need to just lead the charge. Just, just go in and head go to town on these guys. Let's cut them up. Get rid of them. Cut them all off. Oh. Nice. And you got encircled. That's not good. That's not ideal. Good. And then these guys will get encircled. Nice. Beautiful. Just as God intended. There you go. Have fun with that. I hate fighting in Utah sometimes just because of the uh, lines you get so weird and drawn out and disgusting. So. Still finish up that land auction. Scrap bots, sure, why not? Hey, totally good. Did you guys just go ahead and have fun? Don't worry about casualties too much. Not too much, at least. So if you go right there, you're gonna circle these guys, maybe. As long as you yourself don't get encircled. Nice. Um, I'll actually send like a small contingent down here because they did take out the sleeper agent cells. New Harmony, huh? Ah. You have nothing to do here. Come to Provo. Have fun in Provo. There you go. Oh, look at that. We got into God dang it. You stupid ding dongs. There we go. Let's give him a couple seconds. It'll be fine. Force of defense. The gliders, bombers, you know, all the good stuff, and robots. There you go. Are you gonna go or what? We need you to flip and go. Ah, we got a decent amount of map right now, though. That's pretty good. Very nice. Up to 13 divisions left. Ideal. Ammonites cut off from up there. Well, I'm glad we did it like this, just so it's a little different than what we normally do. I usually just go through only Colorado and that's it, but we still have a massive <sighs> a scrap deficit, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. There you go. Deal with it. Cut them off. And then deal with all them as they die. Are they any closer? They're halfway to capitulate. They have 10 divisions left. That's very ideal for us. Very good. Hey, it's more infantry divisions because we actually have enough manpower now. New Canaan is a capital. Oh, boy, that's not that a mistake. So we can definitely pierce them. We can pierce each other. And we're actually equal in terms of uh, general skill. There you go. Is that not it? Man, they got a lot of VPs, don't they? Oh boy. Take and take and take and take, man. Don't let them get to camp. Yay. And good, good, good. Go right there. And Ruby Valley. Lord, has it been messy. 18,000 though. 19,000. Combined arms. Champions of Virtue. Beautiful. Well, this is definitely not a direction I expected us to go. We did really well, though, in this campaign. Much better than I thought. And that tech sub-mod, oh my god, that's really good tech. I would highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun, actually. Very well with it. Very, very, very well. Another 95% of the way there. And we have no caps. 
well, some caps, but not enough to do anything, really. So basically no caps. And we got him. I was not expecting to take these guys out at the beginning of this campaign, but I think we'll end it there because I've done this for like four hours now. So if you enjoyed the campaign, then leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.